Hey, buddies! Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to our Let's Play as Civilization VI as Canada. Now, uh, we are chooching along with things like the mausoleum. I would like to finish this lighthouse first, because that would get me the extra trade route, but I will be able to use Imhotep to finish that relatively quickly. Uh, we're kind of reaching a point of snowball here, where now it's not a matter of, you know, are we going to win? Because, like, take a look at the science. Uh, we're one of the top science players in the game. We're at 76 science. Now, we are bottom science in terms of research, like total text researched. But the difference between me and Ethiopia is only seven technologies. And I've got, like, 80% of his science. So we're going to slowly start climbing this list now because we've outstripped even some of the strongest sciences in the game, like Korea. Just because they got a little bit boxed in. I'm kind of glad I didn't spawn over here. Thank goodness for Canada's tundra bias and the fact that nobody spawned near me. But yeah, I'm, work I'm working on a few things. Things like harbors. I'm getting these cities online. I'm starting to prep my land now. So I'm pre-chopping some of these uh, woods in here. And I'm going to get a farm triangle in Hamilton as well. So I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm organizing my land. I'm getting stuff ready. I'm like getting my farm triangles out. Just trying to get my infrastructure set up for my late game so that we can power hard for the victory in terms of culture. I'm really, I'm really enjoying this game. This is, this has been a very invigorating game for me. I've been having a few games of Civ, you know, where I, I load up and I, am, I get like an episode oh, in and, and things aren't going great. And I've also been struggling really hard with getting videos recorded, say in the last few months, just, just almost purely just down to the fact that it's been a struggle to coordinate with like people getting work done on the house, etc. But now we're getting to a point where we're chooching along. I'm happy. I'm recording. I'm getting videos done. You guys are happy because you're seeing more videos. And uh, you know what? Things are good. That's, that's how I would describe things right now. Things are very, very good. I, I have been running into one issue. And that is my game has just decided that crashing is its favorite thing to do. Now we got the trade route in here. Uh, I could use Imhotep. You know what? Let's just use Imhotep. It's five turns on the mausoleum. Let's just let it, let's make it happen. All right. Mausoleum time. Let's do it. I'm um, continuing to chop in Hamilton as well. We'll get our spy next turn. And I'm not sure what I'm going to use that spy for. Probably to steal gold from Mali, who I completely do not remember where Mali is. Wherever Mali is, I, th I think my plan is to try to steal. Now, the great thing is I get to show off an, a new mod that I have, and that is the um, better spy screen mod. So I can say, I just want to steal gold, right? Because this is the easiest mission. It gives me the most value. And I can start looking through. These are my cities. Poland, I could steal 300. It's just really, really great. So right now, Thebes is my best spot. Niani is 1,300 gold. So that's a good spot. So I'll probably, yeah, yeah. Here, here's Nubia. So I'll probably be, or um, here, here's Mali. So I'll probably be stealing from Mali here. Yeah, all of their cities are real high value. So let's go for Niani. It's worth a thousand gold per steal. And I'm still behind on infrastructure in my capital. Like a lot of this stuff should be built, but it's also getting to the point now where cities are going to take a long time to pay themselves off. So I need to start getting them online. All right, Hamilton will grow to level 10 in five turns. Or sorry, rather four turns. So, you know, that lines up nicely. We'll get medieval walls. Have I unlocked Renaissance? I have unlocked Renaissance walls. So that's something we can start working on. We can start making that a priority in our empire. Poor little scout just wants to get down there to pillage so he can get his special promotion. Lovely, got myself a farm triangle up in St. John. The city's going to grow very quickly. And I know I had a warrior over here. Just a fog bust. Pr reduce the chance that any barb camps appear here. And I, I don't want to spend my gold right now. Because ideally, I would be, you know, maybe buying another unit from here. This is just a great way to convert units to production. Like 382 gold for a man at arms. Whereas if I were to come into my city and to try to buy that manually, um, it's almost 600, it is 640 gold. So it's almost half price to buy a unit from a barb camp, which is why I've been prioritizing that so much. Um, he wants to buy horses off me and he has no great works. I think one of my big priorities is going to be to get cartography and explore the new world. Somehow you have oil. I don't even know how you have that, but sounds good to me, dude. Give me that oil. All right, we got barbs over here in Quebec. Fine. We're chooching. We're chooching. Chop in here. Medieval walls are done. Let's get working on those Renaissance walls. Probably need another builder in here. Might be a good idea to purchase a builder over there because I can, I can move builders around my empire pretty easily during this era. That's the great thing about being able to faith purchase them because even if I buy it in Montreal, he's only a couple turns away from any city because he's got four movements and I got some roads and stuff. All right, let's cancel the monument. Let's come in here, make sure this tile is owned by Charlottetown. We will pop in here. We're going to harvest and then immediately place the preserve. So that's only going to be a seven turn build, but we'll finish the monument first or no. Yeah, no, no, no. We want we want the production to go into the preserve first. Sorry. While this isn't the world's greatest preserve, it'll it'll 
still still do the job, you know? We have access to mercantilism now, movement, trade, niter and coal. We can also get the Tori de Balim. I don't think I'm going to be going for that. It would be nice to get a privateer or two to explore, maybe go pillaging. Could be fun. But yeah, I can delete this pin. Someone needs to build this entertainment complex. You're working on the preserve. Let's kind of switch back here and finish that monument first because it's a two turn build. There might be some national park stuff we do in and around here somewhere. We might replant um, as we reach the late game. But we're hitting a very critical point now. And that's where we can get civil engineering. But more importantly, we're now we're now hard teching colonialism. I would have liked to have been able to research astronomy first, but I think I just have to accept that's not going to happen. And we're going to make our way towards cartography. And uh, if I'm making my way to cartography, I may as well hard chop here to finish that. That'll boost cartography for me because that's my second harbor. So we're pretty well boosted. Next up is industrialization, then head towards steel, I reckon. We've got our market in Halifax. That means another trade route. I think I, think I have to find some time to build trade routes. Like Halifax isn't a terrible place to do it. Let's put another chop into the grove because this is going to be where an ice hockey ring goes. So we'll chop there. That'll bring that down to two turns. Awesome. We'll probably do the same thing right here. We'll just finish that chancery nice and quick. And now, hmm, how many archaeological museums do I want? How close am I to getting an art museum uh, artist? I'm only a few turns away and I don't know how many archaeological museums it'll be worth it for me to build. So I think I'm just going to work on an art museum and then I'll probably work on some of this stuff. All right, I'm praying for a pillage here because that extra science would really, really help out if I could get that. This scout will take two shots for me, but he will do a very, very important thing. Ah, lovely, we got mausoleum, perfect. And we have access to gunpowder. Mausoleum's great because now this city's coastal tiles will generate me all sorts of good memes. And my uh, great engineers are better. So if I spot a great engineer that I really want, which is not Mimar Sinan, I don't want him at all. He does not spark joy, let me tell you that much. But yeah, now I can snag a pillage here for 106 science, which is a whole turn worth of science. And I'm feeling pretty good about myself. I could even try to piece out Spain with that pillage. And then I got that pillage for free. So I got 100 science out of that war for nothing when I didn't really even really want to be at war with Spain. It just kind of got dragged in because of my allies. I do wish there was a, um, I, what I really want is, is like a mod that shows me whether or not, like, like just changes the screen and adds like another icon, like in the trade screen as to whether or not I'm getting the 25% trade route from various factors. Like, I feel like this screen could be updated a little bit because I have to go through here and be like, okay, open borders with Basel, unmet player, open borders open borders no open borders with philip because we just pieced him out lady six guy i just wish it was easier to like keep track of who i have open borders with and who i don't how are we doing on the tourism front we do not yet have a tourist and that's because the more players are in the game the harder it is to get tourists with any one individual player but our tourism is starting to ramp up so that's gonna be you know that's gonna be a thing that slowly 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 we kind of crawl our way towards all right, cool. Aya Sophia and a dam. I think this is the last settler I get in my capital for a little while. Uh, Toronto got its commercial hub, which means it's market time. Victoria got its archaeal uh, amphitheater. What district do I want? There's probably a few here that are really interesting, but I feel like the preserve is just the one that I want to place. And then I'll just slowly, slowly, slowly work on an art museum in here. Sitting on two envoys, let's take Vilnius up to level three and we will also take Taruga up to level three. I want that Susan tree so I can have a bit better knowledge over here. All right, we chopped out the Renaissance walls here. I'm just gonna quickly grab myself another builder and then grab a trader. And then I'll think about what my next district in here is gonna be. Probably gonna be a commercial hub of some description, just gonna slap down somewhere. And I mean, here is as good a place as any. Like, let's be fair. That's totally fine. Just get those trade routes up, get that late game gold, get that extra tourism. So with the advent of cartography, um, it may be a good idea to get like a caravel here or even a galley to upgrade into a caravel or even just like find some units that I'm not using right now. Like this warrior, uh, this pike and shot and this warrior and get them down into the coastline and get them exploring towards America. Winnipeg, finish commercial hub, straight onto a market. We got a preserve in Charlottetown. I could go for the Grove, but that would only really improve three tiles. Whereas I feel like getting those art museums up early is amazing for those great people generation points. Those are, those are really the limiting factor that you're usually bumping up against here. So let's get that theater square placed. Lovely. We do have an okay candidate for a 
nice tile that we can get online for Kingston. We're not too far from getting our Mountie here. And the Mountie is a modern area unit. So I'm trying to remember where, where the cavalry boosting card is. I think it's over here in Lightning Warfare. So we'll probably be, be slow building these Mounties until we get the Lightning Warfare card. City State Emergency with Basil has captured Mohenjo Daro. Basil's all the way over here and Mohenjo Daro is here. I can't really intervene in that conflict. It's just a little bit too far away. So I'm gonna vote it down. Just, I'm, I'm just not gonna, not gonna submit it. I'm just gonna skip that. As much as I would like that to go through, I mean like, that would be great if we could punish him for that. I just don't know if I can make I can make a difference there. Now I'm gonna actually switch here this tile to Kingston purely so that I can harvest here and get this theater square built nice and early. Because remember, theater squares are the most valuable part when it comes to actual great people point generation, because it's like partially the lowest investment, but it also has like really, really, really good returns uh, because it gives you one of each. You kind of start building up a little bit with all of them. One of each in terms of like great people points. It gives you a great writer point, a great musician point, all that stuff. Let's gain sources and then we'll start stealing gold from you. Probably get a good 10 to 20 gold steals in this game from that city, which could be 10 to 20,000 gold. Nothing to turn your nose up at. I don't care much for banks but it would be good to pick them up for that extra little bit of gold. We've got our first great artist. We're getting another great writer soon. We're on the way to a great musician in the industrial era. Great scientist wise, we are just bottom of the list, but that's to be expected. Like, I mean, we just, we got the one great scientist that we wanted early and it's kind of been giving us a pretty good chooch on our science this game. I would like to start picking up some great merchants. You know, that would be pretty nice. Great merchants are, are, are fantastic for tourism. If we look here, trade routes, trade routes. Um, so that's going to become a priority as our great engineers. And yeah, great engineers and great merchants are going to start becoming a priority for me alongside these guys. But the nice thing is every time we pick up a great artist, this extra percentage boost from Antananarivo uh, just gets stronger. Like right Right now I'm getting 6%, I refresh my UI and now I'm getting 8%, that's worth 12 science. So that scales up really, 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 really well into the late game. So we're gonna to wanna to maintain a really good friendship with them. First art museum will be in Montreal. I'll get that artist over there. You harvest that lovely Kingston is close. One turn until we can get our ice hockey rings up. Very, very excited for that. That's a, that's going to be a game changer for me because just the sheer amount of amenities, the sheer amount of culture. We do need to get flight to start getting the tourism from that, but we're not too many techs away from flight. Like we're getting there. It's happening. Right, beautiful. Colonialism, Colonialism opens up some potential here in terms of card. For example, we could plug Raj in. That's not bad. I do think I prefer getting the influence points though. Although that said, it's only three influence points. So I would, I would arguably only lose like a little bit. Like it's not much that I'm losing here by switching this card out. And I gain quite a bit from any of these cards, like Merchant Confederation, that's worth 28 gold per turn. This is worth a good mix of science and culture and faith and gold. This is worth production and food. So I feel like any of these cards, like while this one scales longer into the game, this one gives me more immediately. And I feel like Raj is better than Merchant Confederation at this point, purely just due to the fact that I could use a little bit of extra science. Now that we have colonialism, we pretty much want to beeline conservation. We want to get those sanctuaries up. They're going to be big for catching up scientifically, as well as getting our mounties up, which means now that we're heading towards conservation, ancient walls become super priority, like omega priority. Do I want to be... Yeah, I think it would be good to be Suzerain of Vilnius because that'll get me a little bit of extra tourism as my alliances build up. You can see here, I've only got a level one alliance with him, but that is slowly, 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 slowly building up. I got another eh, about 30 turns before that starts to materialize into something useful in terms of the extra adjacency bonus from Vilnius. And I think we'll start slapping envoys into things like Zanzibar because I'm starting to get enough markets and... Enough, enough markets and um, what you call them, lighthouses to where that's just going to be a really good amount of gold. Pop you into the capital. All right, moment of truth, baby. Here we go. Ice hockey ring. Boom. Now look, you look at that tile and you tell me that that's not a thing of beauty. That's not a workable thing. Absolute beauty. I totally gave that to the wrong city. and I'm going to have to delete it because it, 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 it belongs to Kingston and I can't swap that tile. I already fucked it up. <laughs> Ah, we're gonna have to delete it. But again, still a thing of beauty, regardless, regardless of how badly I messed it up. It's uh, you know, it's a thing of beauty, okay? okay this guy wants to buy my oil. I don't really want to sell my oil. I kind of want to sell some stuff because I'm sitting on these horses and stuff that uh, nobody really wants off me. Ooh, a barb camp, what do you got? 
hire a galley. Ooh, yes, I will hire that galley so I can send that out to the great beyond. Great writer, perfect. Speaking of great writers, does anyone I know still have any great works of writing? I know you don't. You have some great works of art that I'll definitely want to buy off you. But if I take a look at my, um, bu 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 oh, what is it I was looking at again? Ah, great people screen. Come in here. Great writers. Looks like nobody's really taken any on me. Great artists. I'm not super being competed for them. There is one guy who's going to take them. Um, it looks like an artist or two may go without me. Which is fine. We'll just have or, or a writer rather. So we'll just have to buy those. Yeah. You know, we'll just have to we'll just have to make do. It's wall time. Alright, finally, we're on it. We're on the tile. So let's have a look at these trade routes I could do. I could start trading with um Mali, and I think I wanna get that trade route to Niani going. ASAP. Right? That is just a really, really far away trade route that will open up potential trade routes into Spain and into Babylon once it's finished. Because I want to I wanna try to actually make use of this whole trading post system that they put into the game. The only downside is this, this trade route takes 50 turns. I feel like trade routes need to go faster. Like I feel like I feel like they just need to they need to finish sooner. I, I think the I think the ideas and the mechanics behind it are like interesting, but um they just kind of fall short. Now, let me check my trade screen. I'm already traded with Hungary, so it would be good to trade with Sweden. So if I check what cities I can trade with Sweden wise, I could hit Stockholm, which is their capital. You know what? I think I will. Let's make sure we got our tiles set up here correctly. Looks like we do. First things first, we'll slap down a farm here here give this city food to work um so we can hit that pop limit nice and quick pop down another ice hockey ring man i love these tiles i need to delete this one because i'm a dumbass i need to build it here instead and then swap it to victoria sometimes my um my tile yields kind of collapse and do weird stuff it's kind of it's kind of understandable the game is a struggle in a bit i already had 200 culture per turn though i'm hearing barb noises i don't like that i don't like that he spotted my city i'm gonna i'm gonna fight him Let's get a quad. We'll get a quadrim. It'll help me clear this camp. What do I got in the area to actually clear that camp? I got nothing that I can clear. Nice. We got another settler. Is this my last one? I have one going there. I think this is my last one. Like I said earlier, this is my last one for a while. So we can actually get some infrastructure in here. Like university, monument, art museum. Now, Hear me out on this. I could go for the Grandmaster Chapel, which would allow me to convert my faith into Mounties. It would allow me to faith purchase Mounties, which seems a little bit redundant, but it would mean that before I actually have the Lightning Warfare card, I could get them relatively inexpensively. Then again, do I really need it? I mean, it's only gonna take me a few turns to shoot up this tech tree as my, my culture expands here. So I feel like intelligence agency is also really cool for, for massing gold by stealing. Foreign ministry is kind of neat, but I don't know if it does anything for me, really. I feel like intel agency is the is the dream here. Also, I need to start doing ancient wall stuff. I need to start talking to Sweden. I need to, like, start stealing Sweden's economy because I'm pretty sure Sweden very much highly values um, Diplo favor. So if I could, like, figure out a way to uh, to get her to do the Diplo favor thing with me, it'd be pretty nice. Let's see. Uh, I'll offer you 100 Diplo favor, Sweden. Okay, never mind. I will take seven gold off you per turn. And I will offer you like 14 Diplo favor, 15, 15 Diplo favor. Like she values it very highly. I'm trying to think of another save who does maybe Matthias Corvinus. He'd only give me 12 gold per turn for a hundred, which is really terrible. Patch of cutie would give me 19, which is nowhere near what I want. I mean, 19 gold per turn is not terrible. And uh, I, I can generate a lot of this Diplo favor. All right, here we go. Moment of truth, baby. This is what we've been waiting for. Destroy the camp, get this guy leveled up. Get him a can of coke, get him, get him moving in the right direction. I think this is legitimately the first time I've ever leveled a scout to the point where they have that promotion. Right, double check, all tiles are owned by the correct cities. Build this lovely tile. This, this, this is the most exciting phase of the game for me because it's, it's where all of your plans start to come together. It's where you could start placing those national parks. It's where all the really cool and interesting parts of the game start to like light up and the neurons start firing. All the combos that you've planned for centuries come online. And, and you know, it's where it's, it also has moments like this where I finally, this is the first time I've ever promoted a scout with ambush. And you know what? It feels kind of underwhelming. <laughs> like, uh, I mean, I did, I did the thing that I, I, have, I have long, long searched for this power and I finally did it. And you know what? It was only okay. So I'd like to go industrialization first. Um, and that'll probably involve purchasing a workshop in here. Yeah, that'll involve purchasing a workshop in here to get this up. Cause I want that. I, I don't know if I'm gonna get coal. 
But I would like factories. Factories seem seem pretty neat to me. Oh, look at the appeal of my empire. Ugh. Oh. It is just so good. Ah, I'm so close to Mounties, dude. Like I said, this is where it all starts popping off, right? We're going to be getting our zoos. We're going to be getting our stadiums not long after. We're going to be getting um, all this stuff just set up and ready. National parks are soon. Cannot wait for national parks. It's like so exciting. It's the part where you get to see that tourism number really take off. Is when you, you start slapping down those national parks. Okay, Vilnius is, is dead. There's a pike and shot on that guy, which I mean, I kind of have to deal with. Let's have a look at all our routes that are available. Um, I don't have a trade route to Egypt, so I'm gonna start trading with Rakadet, I think. Thebes is 15 gold versus Rakadet is 11, but Rakadet would open up a new trade route for me down this way. Pretty good set of roads, feels pretty well protected. Let's do it. Boom, Rakadet it is, it opens up new trade routes. Um, okay, so in Hamilton, we got all of our walls up. There's nothing we really want in here, except maybe another trader. Let's do it. Uh, it's wall time, baby. Let's get those walls up. Uh, you know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to spend almost all of my faith on builders. This is the phase of the game where builders just become absolute, you know, must-haves. Because I'm going to start laying down forest. I'm going to start laying down national parks. Ooh, I found another city-state. It is Kumasi. Very, very nice to meet you, Kumasi. Trade routes to any city-state provide plus two gold and plus one, or plus two culture and plus one gold for every origin. Uh, origin, uh, origin specialty district. I was struggling there to say the words. Might need to get rid of this deer now, but I don't think I'll do it with this builder. Let's get you chooching on over here. Assist these newly founded cities. It's a good national park right there. Strategy Progress towards opera and ballet. We got Huey Toakali. Medieval walls, Renaissance walls, medieval walls. Ancient walls, medieval walls. Sitting on two envoys. Let's put one into Kumasi next turn after we switch our government around a bit. I want to make sure I'm getting maximum, maximum spread. If I harvest here, that will finish those walls for me. I switch that tile. I can now get to work on the Renaissance walls. Pray, praying for that thing that allows me, gives me 100% production towards things in a district. Because I would just max out all my Diplo favor into the one that works for city centers and get these walls in triple time. Kaboom, new city, delete the pin, step across the river. Actually, I did this wrong, so we'll we'll hang on here. I'm gonna try to do a double chop to get this theater square done nice and quick. This is what I presume to be Alaska over here. There's like, there's like the ice sheet that I kind of remember. So I think this is Alaska, Kumasi. Not where it really belongs. I don't think that's where Kumasi is in the real world, guys. I don't think it's over in, uh, over in Alaska. Everyone wants to buy my oil. It's not even my oil, okay? Leave me alone. This is, this is stolen valor oil, okay? Oh, Jesus. Okay, get a musketman. I think I want to save my gold to uh, come over here and instead purchase the workshop to get the industrialization boosted and give this city some good production. Do you know what? One, two, three. I could get a preserve in St. John here. Possibility. Shouldn't have deleted that preserve pin. I haven't actually placed it. But I got options in St. John. Probably would like to get the granary and the aqueduct here to let the city to continue to grow. It has good growth. It has good culture. Ah, yeah, right. Come in here. We'll plug out Raj temporarily. I don't know if aesthetics is super important to me anymore. It's kind of like, do a reassessment. I'm pretty sure these two cards are the best ones I could find. Maybe if I had better retain, like better garrison set up, I would take retainers for the amenity. Invention could be pretty good, actually. I got two, I got two workshops. Um, those great engineer points, those are hard to come by. And it would basically guarantee me yeah, you know what? I think I think we get rid of aesthetics. We plug in invention. Oh man, frescoes is so good. I feel like I feel like I'm gonna have a really easy time getting artists, but engineers are gonna be tough because I've only got two two industrial zones, potentially three down the road. I definitely want to keep serfdom. Extra build charges is just insane. Um, but I'm gonna plug in diplomatic league temporarily, and that'll let me come through this list. Like for example, Kumasi, I can put one in there. Venice, Bolin, and Nazca. And they should all get doubled. So now I have like two in most of them, which means I'm only a step away from heading up to the next level. And this is kind of the way I think I think I, I don't really play around Susan to anymore so much as I do just getting relationships with city states because it means that the way I play now, my consulate scales up to a ridiculous degree once I get that third envoy in a bunch of these um, bunch of these cities and I basically just take low-hanging fruit whatever the easiest thing to get Susan to you of I just get Susan to you of that unless there's like a super broken one that is like necessary for a strategy I'm going for or like enables a really really powerful strategy I just don't worry about it I just I, I get the guy that makes the most sense in the moment boom more hockey rings yes please I think it's about time we can get this preserve please the city does need more growth just kind of predicated on some not good memes actually this city's gonna struggle to grow without a farm or two I may put a farm here. 
and grab one of these farms for Halifax to get it up to seven pop nice and quick. All right, lovely. We have gained sources. Let's start stealing gold. I do like that they, you know, it's fairly easy to just go through the list of saves in the game and just be like, hey, you really don't want furs. All right. Um, yeah, it's quite it's quite easy to go through the list of saves on the map and be like, okay, this guy's borders, they're kind of looking closed. I'll do open borders for you, bud. I'll grab your luxuries and uh, I'll pay you a little bit of cash for that too. I'll do the same with you. There's your foxes. And you'll give me 10 gold for turn. Let's double check the resource map mode because I was really enjoying having those really high amenities. See, uh, Patrick Cutie's got whales. Wait, I also have whales, don't I? Am I crazy? Yeah, I got whales. Gypsum. Nobody has spare pearls. Ooh, spare diamonds and incense from Spain. Let's let's see. Let's let's give Spain a shout here. Spare diamonds and incense. I may as well grab that ivory just for the you know the sake of it. And he'll even pay me. That's how much. That's how much of an awesome negotiator I am. The art of the deal, boys. This is the greatest deal. All right, cool. So I think we got one of every luxury. We've got open borders with pretty much everyone, as far as I can tell. Yeah. Have I got have I got any tourists yet? Oh. Someone else got a tourist. Wow, they must be they must be cranking tourism if they got a tourist already. That's kind of I'm actually a little bit shocked. I'm not gonna lie, just a bit taken aback by that. Ah, uh, we didn't get the resolution we wanted. Uh, I wish I wish I had more control over what resolutions came up. I will. Oh, you know what though? Hell yeah, make units cheaper with production, please. I'm gonna put quite a few points there. Now my worry is patronage is gonna screw me here. I don't know how people are gonna vote. In terms of memes, it's probably gonna be musicians or writers that get blocked. And both of those really suck. I really don't like them. Great admirals are actually also a good bait bet. So I may claw back a bit of my Diplo favor here and try to vote for great admirals to see if I can kind of bait people into going for that instead or, or just reinforce it if that's the way people do go. Please, great admirals. Ah, yes, great admirals and 50. So our mounties are going to be half price now. That's fucking crazy. Bunch of people voted for great admiral. They, they, the AI tends to vote for the thing that the, the least amount of people are earning. I'd love to trade it with Adis Adaba. I might try to scout out a route here before I send this trader. Hermitage would be cool. The problem with these late game wonders, man, is, is they take forever to build 47 turns. It's a thousand production. Like this city will be busy for so long to build this Hermitage. It's really good. Don't get me wrong. Like it's insanely good. But the city could build like a fully built commercial hub, extra stuff. It'll be able to build its sanctuary. I don't think I don't think I can commit to a Hermitage right now. I'm just not ready for that, that, that level of a relationship right now, guys. I gotta I gotta be a free man, you know, winging in the wind. Uh, you know, uh, harassing women at bars, whatever bachelors do. Okay, listen, I, d I don't know what they do. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and harvest. All right, there's an antiquity site there. It's annoying. Actually, great point. Let's bring up our archaeologist lens. Oh my god, I just fucking came, dude. <laughs> they're all, they're every. I've got them all. They're everywhere. Why am I building art museums? This was a mistake. Jesus Christ. All right, well, at least I got three art museums. That's fine. I guess I'm going all archaeologic archaeological museums here. You hear that noise in the background? That's the rabbit eating a, a carrot shaped thing. It's like compressed like little slivers of carrot kind of tied onto a little wooden stick in the shape of a carrot for the benefit of the human who's giving it to the rabbit. And now she's chewing on it. She's having a great old time. You know what? Happy bunny, happy life. Can you not? Can you not spawn barb camps at me? Like this is this is like getting pinged in Discord, dude. Except it's barb camps, and I hate myself. If I make my own muskman, I think I just buy a muskman. It's actually cheaper. Well, eh, maybe we'll think. We'll have a little stink about that one, boys. Archaeological museum. Let's get those archaeologists up as soon as possible. Walls. I'm just I'm on a wall roll here, baby. Right, we're up to 36 tourism. Now that number is going to start climbing rapidly at this phase of the game this is where that number climbs all right i want to i want to get a scout off on maybe a route to adis adaba i feel like i feel like i could make that if i just had the right right bit of vision i think i could like snake my way in here to there i could be wrong i i gotta go take the carrot off the rabbit because my god it is so loud oh i feel bad doing it though boom ice hockey rink in vancouver lovely you love to see it however i think i'll i think i'll work that deer tile instead the rabbit has finally decided that you know this time is my time, and I'm allowed to record videos for you guys. Oh no, she's back at it. You just heard her hop into her litter box there. All right, cool. So we have a we have a pathway to the capital. Can I trade with it? Oh, it's still just out of range. I really want to trade with that. Hmm. Maybe if I put this trade route in Quebec, I'll be able. To, uh, that's probably what I should have done from the start. But listen, hey, this is my rodeo. Okay, I'll do things how I want. 
Okay, I really don't like that I've been scouted here. Let's uh, get a musketman. Kill that guy. It's not the tower. We gotta kill kill what's <laughs> musketman square rigging boost. I completely forgot that that's a thing. I almost never get that one. We got ourselves an art museum, so I'm gonna put one piece of work in each of these. You want to spread out your great works of art because uh, if you put the same great work of art or, or, or great works of art from the same artist, they uh, they actually get a debuff. And I'll, I might be able to show you that later on in the game. I've shown it a few times, but it's something worth always keeping in the back of your noggin. Boom. We are now trading with Ethiopia. Tourism, perhaps? Oh, oh, we must be. We must be. We must be getting close to getting our first tourists here. We have to be. We're making so much tourism. My god, I'm gonna take a major defeat here. I think I need, actually like need this archer to help me out here. Military alliance with Mansa Musa. You know what? Let's do it. Let's let's take that military alliance. Oh shoot! Why did I ally with him? That means I can't steal with him. Oh dude, I just fucking shit the bed. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Well, I guess Egypt is the next best thing. I can't believe I did that. I'm such a dumbass. Ooh. Right, second, uh, probably one of our last cities we settle right here. I think one of the things that's gonna be going on here is one of those delicious ski resorts and then a national park. Very much so within my plans right there. God, I'm, I'm loving, I, I, I really am loving the gameplay of, uh, of Canada. In, in this patch it just feels so nice to actually have a sieve that you know can l l survive and thrive oh hello portugal hello at long last are you my number one enemy here no you're not actually but you are doing pretty good on science let's uh let's start trading with you uh you are lacking horses hello baby you take those horses off me how do you feel about diplo favor let's see oh he loves diplo favor oh yes he does give me that 49 gold per turn also get those mutual open borders. He'll make me pay for that. Right, that's fine. Might look into settling a um, oh, out, Mount Kilimanjaro. Mount very Kilimanjaro. Cool. Very schnazzy. Where the hell was that? It's all the way. It's all the way over here. Neat. I'm liking the minimap. It's fun. Lovely. We got our first archaeological museum. Let's get that university. We'll get the zoo for amenities, and then we'll get that archaeologist. And you know what? I'll even throw in a monument and a watermill here. Let's get it. Chop for the theater square, throw that theater square down. We'll go ahead and buy ourselves our ice hockey ring tile. I feel like there's another national park in here somewhere. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this terrain relatively untouched for a bit. Wait, you can't place you can't place ski resorts on tundra mountains? Oh you can. Okay, this this is just being weird. Weird. Does that do I need to like own the tile, I assume? Huh. Weird. Alright, don't know why it's giving me that alert. Got a uh it's got a wire crossed somewhere in the game. Nice. We finally got a conservation, which is amazing, mainly for things like sanctuaries and the Mountie. But it also means now that we can build the all important sanctuary. And uh, I think I'm going to purchase that in Hamilton. So I'll save up for that maybe. But I also need to start finding places to build the Mountie and getting builders now is a big deal. TM. With conservation, I think I'm going to head towards... What was it I needed again? Yeah, I think I just need to go straight ideology here. We'll pick up nationalism because that gives me access to another spy. We'll go civil engineering into urbanization. Urbanization, we are going to want neighborhoods in every city that we can get them. So we'll 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 do like a round of neighborhood building. I didn't plan them early because they're not as important as other things. But neighborhoods are a great way to convert production into, uh, into tourism in the late game. All right, you found some new city-states. We'll pop you in there. Now let's start getting up to level three with some of these guys. Kaboom, lovely Kumasi is mine. Let's reveal the good chunk of the map. Uh, now we can pop out Diplomatic League. What am I gonna put in instead? Raj is pretty cool again. I mean, it's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I used to think Raj was bad, but ever since they implemented the uh, Diplomatic Quarter, it's like, it's pretty good. Oh, we have met Peter. So Peter, that's the guy. That's the cultural guy. No, it's not actually Peter, weird. I thought it would be Peter. I, th I thought he would be who I'd be competing with for great people. He must have a ton of great work, so I'm gonna see if I can buy some off him. Let's have a look here. Oh, he's just got the Iliad. All right, what would it take? Six gold for turn? What about if I add foxes to that deal? All right, yeah, he'll trade them for foxes. So who the hell has been taking those great riders? Because I need them. Well, it's someone I still haven't found yet. Couple people out there that I haven't found yet taking them. I think there's gonna be a national park on here, so I'll get rid of this deer as much as I want to keep them. Boom, we got the enlightenment, which doesn't do much for us right now. Aside from make tourism a little bit easier against, uh, like defending against religious tourism a little bit easier. I think I will pick up the market 
but this is going to be one of the places that I start getting Mounties. Um, actually, Mounties in five turns. Sounds kind of OP. God, look at this. Look at this diplomatic favor that I'm just cranking out from all these Renaissance walls I'm finishing, amongst other things, too. Put a point in Mogadishu. Hold on to the rest until I find somewhere that I want to put it. Boom, camp. God, I'm loving these cap tiles with this Pantheon. I think this is becoming one of my new favorite Pantheons. I used to, I used to not respect the camp. I'm not going to lie, right? I thought camps were kind of cringe. I'm taking it back. I'm, uh, I'm rolling back how I feel about it. I gotta say. I have enough gold now to come into Hamilton and purchase... Oh no, I'm actually... I'm, I'm like six gold off. Hang on. You, Patch of Cutie. Literally, literally six gold is all I want from you, bud. All right, thank you for your six gold and your service. Come into Hamilton. Buy the Sanctuary. Oh, look at these tiles. God, that feels good. It's so much science and production, dude. It's so worth it to do this. Oh, there's Delicate Arch. Perfect. Very neat. Very cool. Well, actually, you know what? As I'm thinking about this stuff... Yeah, you can have that deal. As I'm thinking about this, I no longer need this to be where my ice hockey ring goes because I can put it here and then preserve an extra super grove tile. So ice hockey ring right there. That covers my capital. Now my capital has one that gives me plus one amenity, lots of culture. Ah, oh, dude, you're joking me. This thing spawned right as I was about to clear this camp and now I gotta, I gotta eat that. Boom, industrial era. We just discovered industrialization, which gives all my mines plus one production and potential coal nature. memes, which is cool. We did in fact find some coal. I expect to find a little bit in my empire. Ah, there's some right underneath here. Well, we'll just have to accept that some of that coal we're not getting, but some of the coal we're already, we're already extracting. In fact, we're getting 18 coal per turn. <laughs> yes, 18 coal per turn, baby. I think that means I want to go factory soon because this factory alone is worth like 12 production across my empire which individually in each city isn't a huge amount but it's pretty good overall I really want flight now and I'm only three techs away so I think I'm going to beeline it that way I can pick up the aerodrome uh not the aerodrome rather I want the uh tourism from improvements which is going to be great for my ice soccer rings I'm already up to 92 tourism per turn but I'm going to call that the end of the episode so far progress being made is a lot I love you all very much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.